In this video, I'm going to show how to create a CorelDRAW icon to run a CorelDRAW macro. I'm using CorelDRAW X5, but newer versions should be almost exactly the same. And back to, I think, CorelDRAW version 11 would be extremely similar. I'm going to start off by going to Tools, Customization, Commands. Instead of File, we want Macros, which will show us all of the macros that we have in our macro, that is GMS folder. And I'm looking for Tag Cut. I'm going to select the macro, and we will tell it what we'd like to show up when we hold a mouse over it. So the tooltip help, Tag Cut. I'm going to go to Short Keys, click inside the new shortcut key. I'm holding down the Shift and Control and tapping the T. That shows that my hotkey is Control Shift T. Don't quit here, however. Be sure to assign that. That moves it from the new shortcut key down to the current shortcut key. We'll look at Appearance and replace this generic icon. Actually, we could just paint that and create our own icon. Being pretty weak with icons, I normally just import one of several that CorelDRAW offers us. So I'm clicking on Import. We'll find something that somewhat resembles uh, tag cut will do. I'm going to select this one. And then under caption, I'll name that tag cut also. And then I'm going to drag that icon out onto the screen. I can drop it off here. If I want to put it in the toolbar, I'll drop it off here. More often than not, I put my macros up here on the icon bar. So I'm going to drop that in amongst a few other macros that I have. And there you'll see my icon pop up. Careful here, it's natural to press cancel, but you, if you do, you'll lose all your work. Be sure to press OK there. Then notice as we hold the mouse, hover the mouse over that icon, it gives us the name and the hotkey. So we can click on it, or I'm going to try my hotkey, Control shift t And that calls up our macro, except it gives us a message here. For that macro, I have to have something selected. So we'll try our hotkey again. Control shift t Up comes the program. And that's the way tag cut works. But the point here is not about that macro as much as creating an icon to run it. I'm going to maybe undo that last part and then click on my icon to be sure it works also. Yes, that's the way it works.